hope everyone's having a great day. Let's get that box turned on. Okay, so the plan today is to get this electromagnetic control run factor going. And I drug. Drug? Yeah. Brought out the power out to here. And originally I was thinking of having the factory out here. But. Since I'm thinking of having the eventual nuclear factory out here, power plant, whatever, having the electromagnetic control rods on the other side doesn't need a lot, but I was also thinking, well, what if I just brought it in closer just help the uh, the whole thing so this spot has some of the copper I didn't even realize there's copper up there oh no I'm probably gonna stick with my normal plan so if I build in here I think I'll probably take up this huge area right here Got the coal, the iron, one normal node, which isn't enough. I need like, you know what? Let's bring up that spreadsheet. So I need about 840. So that's only gonna be 600. So there's another node that's just out of range of the, well, where is the radar tower that pick it all this up. Not that one. Is there one here? Oh, there must be one here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, that's there, and then the Katerium I need is here. So... I guess we'll worry about that later. I should probably just bring power over to that area in some way. So the question is, do I just bring it straight through that way in the easiest way possible? I think so. It would be cool if it reached up there, but I already know it doesn't. So I think I'm gonna have to bring it over here. Let's spin this around. So I'm fine with putting these things straight on the ground if I can get all of the feet to like not be floating off the ground. That's usually why I put foundations, just because I don't like that. It looks weird to me. I feel like they should all be anchored on the ground, so I think we'll just lay down some concrete. Let's see where... I think that looks good. I think I actually have a... There we go. Hop bar with these on there. So if you didn't know, these actually can snap in half meter increments, which makes it a little bit tricky, but I found as long as that part of the foot is right past the midline and you line up this, you are completely centered. So, let's get that placed and then from here to there. And then <clears throat> all my main power lines are green. Alright, so see how far can we... It would be kind of nice if we could go up here and avoid everything, but nope, that's wire too long. Hmm. And through, yeah. Getting it through there is going to be really hard to be completely honest. And... Actually, just moving power through this area is just not... And this is actually why 
thinking of using trucks to get the uh, this copper and that Caterium because one, trucks are just fun, and two, um, this area is kind of a pain. So I think we're actually just going to go up and over because that'll leave the uh, the ground free. Let's see. I'm not, not clipping through the rock or anything, so let's go for it. I'm not sure if I'm going to kill those trees or not. We'll see. So I think we just bring it over here. Hmm. <clears throat> I think for now that's close enough. Okay, so I do have this running through here, which is easy enough to work around. I've uh, already nuked this whole area to clear it. This was originally I was thinking I'll just build over the water, but I don't know. I kind of want to leave the water. Oh, and those really ugly trees. Oh boy. They do not look good from a distance. Well, oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so, let's see, I think this is basically, is that like the highest point? Because yeah, those look like they're sitting even a tiny bit lower. And so are all those. Okay, so as long as I build and clear this, that's, uh, I have no issues, basically, I think. Um, so I think that's what I'll do, is gonna lay down a huge amount of concrete for, let's see, this floor. But I'm thinking, because I was also thinking about using trucks, so usually, usually I do those on like the bottommost floor, but all right, let's think about how we want to do this. So also, if I could just have the trucks on this floor, then they could just drive straight out that way and come back. I'll probably just build a road instead of trying to drive on the terrain. Or maybe I'll do a little bit of both. Maybe I'll just build like a bridge over the water because having it go straight over there is way easier than going over and around. Hmm. Well, I do know one thing I need to do, which would be... Where do I want to put my temporary drone port for everything? Like, I kind of want to put it right up here, but at the same time, I want to make sure it's... It'd be nice if I don't have to move it. So, why don't we do it? Okay, I guess like right here. Let's just grab. And then, ooh. I made sure I could get the, I have enough for the drone port, but do I have enough for Ooh, I do. Do I have enough for both? Because I'm sure they use some of the same things. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay, cool. <laughs> Makes my life so much easier. All right, so let's put, how do we want to do this? I'll put that there. Before 
I start using up all of my concrete. Gotta make sure I get this set up. All right, so let's grab our drone horn. I guess I, oh, I guess I didn't really give myself enough space. So uh, we'll just have to get a little creative. Definitely not the right port. What am I doing? That would be the battery. We need to go this way. Cool. And then we gotta get that one extra that doesn't fit. And this is for all of the just use a smart splitter and any and overflow and that'll catch all the random stuff that doesn't have a container cool so let's queue up a whole bunch of stuff so for sure I need concrete we'll need some steel beams I would assume probably some steel pipes doesn't hurt to get one of those um, probably, for sure, for sure, um, I mean, I guess while we're at it, might as well, oh, god, no, don't know where I tried to send that, oof, that would have been bad, um, that's what I probably need here, um, I mean, I'm sure I'll probably need some cable, might as well, if we're gonna do, we might as well just get one of like almost everything I'm thinking I'm gonna need. Um, in that case, rotors, because I am gonna need some water extractors. Um, probably some heavy modular frames, which means I probably need some modular frames for sure for the uh truck stations um, let's just take a look motors will I need motors computers cop oh copper sheets for sure all right let's start with that so let's do all right, so cable, one trip. Reinforced iron plates, one trip, one trip. Iron plates could honestly go for two. Wire, definitely one. Iron rods, probably go for two, but for now we'll just do one. For sure, concrete, keep going. Steel beams, could probably go for more than one. Modular frames, that's just one. One trip, one trip, one trip one trip ah you love to see it just get a couple fun screenshots <laughs> they, they, they just keep showing up I forgot it cute so much <clears throat> love our spiraling oh and the funny thing is is none of them can land because i haven't i haven't plugged this up that's hilarious no wonder this is doing that so let's just drag you down to here for now all right i guess that's one way to get the screenshot queue them all up and then power it on well that's gonna take absolutely forever but that's okay still better than running back and forth so 
Let's figure out. I think this is gonna need a good amount of space. So I'm thinking it's probably even gonna overhang past this, which I think will be kind of cool. Um, so let's, let's see. So for sure, it needs to be, I'd rather not like clip it super short just in case I need some space. So do we just bring the bottom row floor all the way up? Hey, Tessa, how you doing today? Or do I want to have an extra floor underneath? Hmm. Let's just see, what would that, so, do, no, I wouldn't want it there. So I'd want it like there. And then, that would put like a normal spacing like right there. Actually, that's a, yeah, that's a good height. Okay, I like that. That's what we'll do here. Okay, so let's just delete these. I can assume this is on the global grid. Yeah, okay. Let's see. All milestones in tier 8 have been completed. Very nice. Drone. Red, white, and blue. Squadron has been tested. Very cool. And set for building material delivery to new Rocky Desert Plant 4 location. Also, all materials being manufactured have been reworked for maximum efficiency. All items produced have reached their final location at mall and ready to use. All power has been reworked to get the flat gray. All this has been time consuming and exhausting, but very satisfying. That is awesome. Very cool. Yeah, getting, getting everything to work is you know step one and then getting it to like actually be peak efficient man it takes so much work to uh to get that going but very cool that's awesome to hear i think that oh what did i just do that's not what i wanted i clicked the wrong button okay foundations So, like right there. Yeah, that's gonna work. <clears throat> so, I finished the heavy modular frame and fused modular frame, and although I actually should go take a look at it because just before I started working on this, this is gonna be the new electromagnetic control rod factory to get me one step closer to getting to nuclear. So let's see, is this thing finally up to 100%? I realized, I went through and I realized that, oh, so we're still, we're still getting there. Ah, you know, modular frames are still, that's because I'm, it's so few, it's going to take forever for this thing to ramp up to a uh, fine. Okay, we're almost there. It's just on this row, just these last two, I haven't finished overflowing. I guess I could help it along because I just brought in more. So you know what, let's just do that. <laughs> manually kickstart this thing into because I think everything else is basically backed up and that's why yep okay so I, I found a belt that was mark 4 that was supposed to be mark 5 so thankfully the way that's set up is the fuse modular frames were still at 100% it's just I wasn't getting all of my heavy modular frames that I was supposed to be getting but holy cow did they generate a lot of points my like low is now just over 4 million points per minute. It's 
auto saves are taking a few seconds now. Makes sense. I think my save's over like 11 megabytes now. Um, but yeah, so I decided to uh, to keep it kind of open, like I was like I did with the other one, um, instead of Windows. Um, and then just having a whole bunch of pillars just because I like to be able to actually see in it from a distance because like down there the windows just turn so opaque from a distance you can't see anything so I started to leave some more of my factories a little bit more open air um, but I've also realized all my buildings are like black concrete walls and I really need to uh, try to switch it up at least that one's a little different so now that I've just mentioned that maybe I should just build something other than concrete what should I do or should, well concrete's just easy I can just change it afterwards So this should give me enough clearance, but I should probably test it out. Let's make sure. See, so once I get this done, and then all I really need to do is make the crystal oscillator and radio control unit factory. And I'll be able to easily throw together the last, the pressure conversion cubes because I'll have everything else ready. And then I'll be able to go nuclear. I'm pretty excited. Oh, yeah, plenty of space. Although I think this one's higher, but it shouldn't have an issue. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I might as well just uh, build these now. Going with plutonium or uranium fuel rods for your power plant. Um, so it's going to be running on uranium. And then I'm going to sink the... Oh, did I actually build enough? One, two, three, four, five, five. Yep, okay. And then I'm going to make the plutonium fuel rods so I can sink them. Because if you use those ones, it'll give you plutonium waste that you can't get rid of. Hmm, which way are these going to go? Actually, I have no idea which way I want these to face. So, oh. I kind of forgot these take steel pipes to build, to be honest. Um, so yeah, if you if you turn around and use the plutonium fuel rods that you make from recycling, uh, the uranium waste, you you can't get rid of that one. But you do convert basically the waste. I think the ratio is like five to one or something like that so you'll get way more power and you'll store way less waste so it's not like the worst thing but i also just don't want to have to deal with stored waste in any way because i mean like i don't know if you just keep playing the save eventually <laughs> eventually you're gonna run into issues i feel like so i um i'm just gonna sink the plutonium fuel rods because that's that's the way you can completely get rid of all of your waste don't get quite as much power but um, my plan is to I'm gonna use two of the um, uranium nodes so that's 1200 uranium per minute which is a little over half I think there's 2100 per minute total that you can get out of the world 
So there's three normal nodes and one impure node. And so using a little over half gets you a gigantic amount of power. It's a stupid amount of, um, which one did I? Yep, that's the one I double built on. How many am I? So let's see. So 1,200 with the recipes I'm going to use, because I'm using some alt recipes and some not, it will generate, well, it should generate if I get it all working right, 240,000 megawatts. So on top of my 150, I think I should be set <laughs> to do whatever I want. And the plutonium fuel rods actually generate quite a few coupon tickets. Which is a nice little added bonus on top of giving me all the power I need. Go, go, concrete. So how big is this going to have to be? Like, am I just going to build it? I'm probably just going to build it straight into that cliff wall just because, well, that's just easy. <laughs> that's just the whole wall I don't have to decorate then. How many? Let's see. That's the wrong. Okay, so with this factory, I'm going to need. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I need. To, I didn't realize. That, so here's the weird thing. I need really like very few materials like it's like one iron ore vein one coal well i guess i need 630 of both so if they're normal then i need two but 630 of both iron and coal less than 600 caterium 836 copper which still isn't that much but somehow i this is gonna need 30 nope not 31 32 Plus 56 for that recipe. Plus 25. I need 113 refineries. Oh. And that's even switching the iron to just the normal recipe because I realized I didn't really need that much. So I, could, I didn't need to use refineries. Oh. Okay, so this needs to be just a gigantic footprint if I want to put all the refineries on one floor. Alright, let's see if I can... Uh, what's... Alright, let's just drop off some of the things. Um, yeah, we'll just drop off some of these extra stacks. Boombox we can leave there and the cup. Uh, that's fine. Alright, so. Is the, I've queued up so much stuff, the concrete one hasn't come back yet. Yeah, that was the problem with queuing up, like, every single thing that I needed, huh? Well, alright, so I guess we're just going to help this along then. I'm just going to manually sort of some of this since the drone bay. Wait, do I not have one for... Oh, yeah, I do. There's the quick wire. 
just the regular wire. Encased uranium cells. Ooh. That is going to be. Encased uranium cells. 960 a minute. It's going to be a, a large factory. It's going to end up with like. Why so much? Because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> That's really the only reason. I'm sure I don't need that much power at all. But I just think it would be fun. Having a whole bunch of... The giant... Power plants just looks cool. I'm also very curious what's going to come out later on in the game because <clears throat> there are definitely a couple things that haven't been released and most likely won't be released until the 1.0 they've hinted at teleportation just given like no details whatsoever what that's going to entail and so I have to think that unless it's going to use a consumable like batteries it's going to use a gigantic amount of power because everything in the very late game uses a gigantic amount of power <laughs> like these things that 1500 per one is insane so I just think it would be cool to have a gigantic amount of power It's like an, it's gonna end up putting me at like <laughs> 392. Oh man, I'm gonna be just shy of 400. That's okay. If I can get the power graph to be completely stable at whatever it ends up being, I will be super happy. I really don't think it'll be too hard. Nuclear just takes a lot more steps than oil does. It's like an actual factory instead of an oil refinery. Because with the oil, you pretty much just use refineries and blenders, whereas with nuclear, you're using everything, basically. <laughs> you need, like, a little bit of like every single like product on the map it feels like from iron you need copper you need quick wire you need nitrogen you need sulfur you need steel silica yeah you need aluminum too obviously that's it's got to be in there I'm trying to think if there's like I think you can technically do it without any oil products, which I guess is cool. But yeah, you need just about everything. It's kind of wild. Which ones are... Um, you know, let's just turn off a couple more of these for now. Because really, I just want concrete and I can call up the rest of them.
All right, so, so yeah, this needs to be just a gigantic area. And I'm gonna have to do more floors. This is probably gonna be a couple floors. Well, probably just two. I think I can probably do. Oh, I was totally looking at the wrong. I was looking at the normal numbers without them being overclocked. Oh, silly me. I need way less than I thought. Refinery. Okay. See, so yeah, this won't. It's really not that bad. It's still gonna be. Let's see, thirty. Six. It's still. 46 refineries so it's still gonna take up a decent amount of space do i already have blueprints for these oh yeah let's see i forgot you can search for blueprints oh i have ones for each of these okay um Yeah, I don't, I don't want to use that. That would mean I need to use a one meter floor. All right, so let's, I guess while I'm waiting for more product, I can do something useful here. So how do I want to do this? I actually probably have. One I can just no, not that one. I want to say over that's weird. Well, that should be a good one though. Okay, so. Alright, let's. So. What are we doing? We're doing pure copper. Max that out. Alright, so yeah, we'll keep the spacing so they're all two meters apart. I like that. Let's. How are we gonna do the water's gonna come from below? Actually. Let's see. Do I want to make this factory? Hmm. Maybe I do this one different where I don't use as much of the, uh, the logistics floor. Maybe I try to do everything on the same floor and then I just have some like raised catwalks above everything might be interesting I haven't done that in a while I was going to do it differently but that would have been only if I did it over the ocean where I had a gigantic amount of space It'll work better for a different factory too, with more recipes, I think. So that's fine. Well, that might be fun. Just have a whole bunch of belts going everywhere. See if I can make it nice and neat. I'll just have to have like a logistics tower going from one floor to the next, I guess. Just 
trying to think how I'd actually do that. If I do, I might actually want to just... <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's see. All those fails, I can go back. Just redo with normal blueprints, I guess. So let's see. Uh, let's do this first. That's actually easier. All right, so let's go with splitter. Okay, so which way are we gonna have these things facing? Well, when I'm in rows going that way, probably gives me the most space. So the one that I need the most of would be 23. So that would mean. Forty-six foundations. Oh boy! So that one's probably just going to need to be two rows. I mean, I can go farther, obviously, but it's also probably just going to look weird because it's so much longer than all the rest of them yeah so that one so okay so if we did four rows how wide would it need to be so if we give each one four but then we're gonna need to give it plenty of space if i'm gonna actually have all the belt work up top would i want four in between or just like three if i did just three That's three rows. And then if we bring this out farther on each side, we could fit four rows. Okay. I should be able to give it all enough space. Okay, so I think this will fit. All right, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's get some color coding in. This is copper, so we'll make it orange. And all right, so if they're in rows like this, we'll have um hmm let's have the that would probably feed in from this side so we'll do three uh how much or only three seven, so mark one is fine. All right, now I can do the pipe, and we'll get it to run right underneath. Um, how much water is, does this thing your copper ingots? Oh, I did not do. Huh. Messed that part up on the spreadsheet. Part that didn't really matter. Okay, so okay, so basically each system needs a mark two pipe. Makes it easy. Okay. So we got that, and then for an output, let's grab our merger, and then I'm gonna have, do I want it to merge back out this way? Oh, the copper ingots are the ones that I need two of, that's right. Because some of them are going to copper sheets, and then the other ones are going to somewhere uh oh, fused wire fused quick wire oh yeah i'm making a lot of copper ingots i'm gonna have them feed this way because some of them are gonna have to go to the next floor and the other ones will loop back around for the 
copper sheets. All right, so these are putting out 93. So, oops, mark two. All right, cool. And I think that is all I can really do for this, I think. Okay, so this is going to be uh, patrol rod. No, copper ingots. Copper sheets in the next one. Okay, so let's make a new category control rods and make it orange okay and then let's change this to steam copper sheets everything is mark one And yeah, so we're gonna have this be that way. We'll have the output going that way. Yeah, because we'll put the tower up here because I think it would look cooler. Well, I might run out of space if I do the tower in the front. Oh no, I don't need that to go all the way to the ground. Never mind. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Okay, so it'll feed in that way, come out that way. We got the water already. I think everything else is good, so. Copper sheets. And. Alright, so that one's done. And then the last one for the refineries is. Pure Caterium. Mark one, mark one, mark one. Let's change this to yellow or like a. I'm gonna go with that one. We'll save the bright yellow for sulfur. It's kind of a more goldish color, I guess. Um, oh, now that I'm thinking, yeah, I messed up that calculation on my spreadsheet again because this one should need the water also. Yeah. Yeah, I need way more water extractors than I originally thought. But it's a good thing. Plenty of space. It is going to have to get pumped up a bit, but. Ah, whatever. Pipes are fun. Alright, so. I think that's. Oh, yeah, so is this the way I wanted. Splitter merger on this one, too? Ethereum in. Yeah. Yeah, no, that works. So let's do Ethereum ingots. And cool. All right, so let's go check up on be able to oh not that one all right let's place a few more So, 
funny thing is I'm not actually sure what I'm going to use this floor for. Except for... It's just bringing in some of those materials. Because I think I want... So I'm gonna say, uh, I don't even know, would a truck station even fit down there? Oh, it totally fits. But what I really want to make a ramp going out that way, like part of me wants to just to. Use this space. Maybe I should have made it just a tiny bit taller. Ah, man, I don't know. Where would this run into? Well, I could just ramp it up a little bit too. Oh, just like just over the water. Oh, man, that is kind of cool. Oh. No, it starts just over the water and then it goes into it. That's funny. All right, so. thinking about it the more I think it would be kind of cool what kind of uh, be better if I went just a little bit farther I think so uh, let's see and I guess I could use this natural road where's the fun in that actually need this to be longer but we're gonna just oh I just keep misclicking oh it's really easy to do all right so So that would, I guess, be the logical thing, would be to just build this out right here, and then I can just, I could just transition to the natural road. But I think, I think this like dead ends, right? So, yeah, so I'd still have to pave this spot right here. Or, I have of course I do we can get some turbo fuel all right so what would it look like if we went this oh wait that's the way I just it's not that way so the road also goes which way up here sounds are definitely broken it's kind of funny so they would ugh. why is this so bumpy oh boy so you'd have to go over this way and then it comes down hey, so it's not like the biggest detour to go around so you're not on the water and then down to here and I was thinking well iron nodes are just right there oh. all right so let's see so the copper is right here and the caterium all the way over there so I was thinking I would just bust the Caterium over to here and make a truck stop. 
just for fun. I could obviously bus it all the way over. But I haven't used vehicles at all, so I thought it would be fun. How do we do this in a way that makes sense? Anyway, now nah, you can't drive all the way over here. Alright, so I'd have to build... would be kind of funny if they came up here and then there was just like two truck stations and they turned around but I don't really know if they'd be able to turn around that well because there's like <sighs> hmm I really just want to use vehicles I think they're fun. So obviously the easier thing would be just to build a road right over the water. Because I don't really like how bumpy it, the terrain is. I do kind of have this choke point where I don't really want to try to have two vehicles trying to cross each other. So I think... I think I'm gonna have to just build a little road over the water. I think that's gonna be the best thing. Yo, what's up, Jester? Hope you're doing well. All right, so would there be a way? All right, so yeah, it would definitely fit through there. Okay. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to pave this bit. Let's see what we come up with. Building your nuke plant. Oh, very nice. How big you going with the nuke plant? Okay, do I have... Just 24, 150k power. A, hey, that's, that's a good amount. Alright, so we're going to use asphalt because these are going to be roads. But the fun thing about roads is they really, they pretty much all end up being off grid. <laughs> So it's a little concrete jungle in here. <laughs> for now, it should set you up for quite a while. I would, I would hope. Fifty k is a pretty healthy amount. Alright, so I may need to... Ramp up to that height. Let's see. How do we want to do this? We just need the two two lanes. As long as you've got two full foundations. This is just gonna be like a one way. I didn't need to do all this. So this one will come down here. Then we'll have the road. Well, I know I made blueprints a long time ago for roads, and I just haven't used them. Oh, yeah, I made it a huge full four wide.
what else do I have? Oh, I already have like the right turn and left turn. Oh, I even made myself a ramp. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, cool. Well. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, I figure the road will probably come to like right here. And then... Split off. So... Let's see, is this going to be just the right height for the whole thing? Yeah, I think it is. Ooh. It's actually even a little too low for this side. That's crazy. Though I guess I could just let him drive a little bit on the normal dirt. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, why don't I just do that? We'll just have it dead end into... Into the dirt. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. So there. Uh, let's see what I rather. How do I want to do this? Okay, so let's do, let's delete this. Let's add a half meter onto the end. So, in my mind, this works out. Let's see if it does. Let's block it. Oh, that's right. I think I made the roads two meters, so I'll just have to swap those out. Oh, yeah, it does, except for that is so not angled anywhere close to the right way. Oh, okay. So, about a 45 degree angle. Which actually isn't that hard, because I think that's basically that. Yeah, that's pretty much the angle I needed at if I wanted to. So how do we do that? So where... We get that word. Would make sense. If I lined it up like right there. Let's just see what what does that look like? Um, you know, let's find, uh, yeah, we'll just use this hotbar. All right, so let's just add all the different road stuff here. Right turn, left turn, ramp. Why not just throw them all on there? Okay, so... All right, so yeah, that's that's aimed at the right right spot.
Oh, no, let's find out. Where, does, where is this going to intersect? Right there, basically. Does that screw it up if I put that there when I try to snap it? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So, let's see. How well can we line that up? What does that look like now if I delete that part? Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I think we can get this to work. Because now I can... Let's see if we grab that. And then... some of these This side's easy. It's this side. It's always a much bigger challenge, but I think, oh wait, I think I did this at a 45, so I should be able to just, wait, one, two, three. I think this should work, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, it will, but get these to intersect in the right spot. <laughs> Wait, can I... Can I still nudge it if I walk it there? Oh, you can. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah, I don't think this is actually going to line up. Is it? This is the trick. Let's see, so. Right there? as I'm going to get. It's either the gap or no gap. So I think we'll just do that. There's got to be a better way to do that, but that is kind of what happens when you don't line everything up to the world grid. But that's okay. <laughs> this looks so weird. I uh, love it. Alright, so this road is going to just go right out here. Concrete, not a surprise. Blueprints. Ooh, 
now here's the question. Do we go... Ah, I forgot this was going to happen. It goes up so easily. Going down. Not as much. But, I'm pretty sure... So, if I used one meter ramps, there's four foundations. I think I basically went down four meters. So, I'm pretty sure if I just give myself... something to place this on that's four meters lower it's annoying but I'm pretty sure yep oh nope I was wrong really Okay, so it's, or did I not actually give myself, oh, that's only one meter difference. Huh. Well, this didn't quite work like I thought it was going to. All right, so let's try that. Whoop. I don't want to delete that over there. All right, let's delete this. And really what I should be doing Here's using my noggin. Uh, yeah, you know, we can just grab the one meter. That's fine. Is the one meter even en enough? Oh, yeah, I don't need it to turn in right away, so it'll. We'll, how long will it take to get here? Okay, to like here. Oh, it's not even like the right height because of course I didn't line it up with the world grid because yeah that's totally fine though it's gonna work out great okay so yeah the one meter ramp does work fine alrighty so let's grab ourselves the one meter snap it to the bottom of that and now I don't even think I need that full space, but. All right, so now we're at the correct height. Okay, so one, two, three, four, I don't know, whatever. It'd be so nice if it, <laughs> I could snap it and go back up. That would work fine. All right, so delete all this, and then I need wait. Gap of three, right? Now I'm not sure. Yep, all right. Yep, that looks right. Oh, I didn't put the Whatever. Oh wait, it did take him. It says I can't build more because I don't have the things, but, oh. So for some reason they're hidden until you wave over it. Okay, cool. Well, at least I know that they're there. Cause I was debating whether I should fix the blueprint and I was gonna be lazy and not. But I don't have to. Oh, is there just one missing in the blueprint? Oh, I bet you this clips through the floor on the blueprint and so I couldn't actually place it. So I just 
just gonna add that later whatever that's fine i like the pattern on it okay so did i empty all right so there's my flower petals all right let's grab our craft bench bang out a few of these one of the few things i never intend to automate <laughs> No. No, I need the regular one, right? There is no regular one. There we go. Alright, so I want to grab Let's see how do I want to do this? Yeah, we'll use full foundations for this. Alright, so just lay out a bunch and we can cut away the sorry trees one's in the way you're all in the way because the nukes were what i had on hand <laughs> oh i guess this is the one bummer but if i line this up to the world grid then it, i would have had to bring the road like way out to here for it to be able to go straight yeah whatever a little bit of a challenge getting this side line up right but all right let's see one two three four okay so yeah let's do so one more and then i'll just manually place the very like probably only needs one more piece after that it with just that right yeah lined up cool all right so let's get rid of these Clips into that, so oh, can I? Yeah, actually, that works.
Games. <laughs> oh, I... Game, you suck. No matter which one I pick, it won't let me zoop to the other spot. It's really silly. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I still needed to go two spots higher. Uh, nope. Just that one, I think. Okay. Don't remember. There's a reason I built this in the blueprint designer, so I didn't have to keep doing this. like I want. Although maybe I should. Uh, nah, we're going to leave it. You know what? Let's just add one more. We're going to give them plenty of space. Just make these half meter like I did with the. Uh, maybe I just make this half meter like I did with the rest of the road. Maybe that'll just fit better. Let's see. so weird down here. One of the biggest deal. So I don't even need those pieces there. idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it not look weird. But I 
it still just is gonna kind of look weird, isn't it? Maybe if I add the walls. How do the walls end up looking? Could be worse. They're just gonna have to kind of clip in together. Let's see, nope. Ah, why does it have to? Man, I forgot how weird it looks. Ah, it's really only the. Well, what if I, what if we switch this to concrete instead? Once it gets to this point, would that look less weird? Having them kind of blend together, that actually looks kind of cool. Oh, none of that worked out the way it was supposed to. Okay, you know what? and the control click on the walls is not works well with some things um actually wait a second no i just want the one meters there because what i'm really gonna do is i'm gonna put these and why why are those the only two snapping points What? No, that's not what I want either. You know what, I think I'll just use a, um, uh, a normal, yeah, not quite big enough. We'll use, use a small concrete pillar. just like that or do I want to try to make it oh. oh I guess this didn't work out quite as smooth as I thought it would whoops okay so those still need to be full foundation I guess steal a a page from Fluxo's book here and you put a one meter of beam down and then you grab yourselves the really itty bitty signs here wait are they supposed to go now I can't remember hold on how does this work and then this is gonna go Oh, this actually sits <clears throat> different than I thought it would. Okay, so this is how this would go. Actually, I like that. That word still works. Okay. And here, I forgot that it would sit like halfway inside of the pillar. But, all right, so get all those, and then we're just gonna make these. Um. 
you know what? Would they look good in red? I was going to do a really bright color, but maybe they look good like this. Uh, layout. Uh, red looks a little bit weird. You can still see the shenanigans, which is funny. Hmm. Okay, maybe not red. Let's try... made him green. That might be cool. How does green look? Oh, that is bright. And like with the strength turned all the way up, you can barely even tell that it's green. That's kind of what happens with all the colors. Maybe we'll add some fun green accents to this, this factory. Finally add some color to my world. Maybe that's what I'll do. All right, so now we grab our beam connector, snap that right on top, and bam. We have some fancy little pillars for our road entry here. All right, so let's get these to show up. Ah, but they don't there because I never placed them. So it should be not the center, the side dotted line. So get these placed and then I'll change the color later. Oh, I guess that's kind of the other downside to these having mismatched. Maybe we just won't add any lines there because they are just not going to line up no matter what I do. All right, so I need the secondary color to be orange. Cool. Yeah, because the only I would have to line it, it would go here to here, and then it's gonna jump over there, and that's gonna bother me. I guess I could just have it go to like here. Uh, it's I think still gonna bother me, and that seems like way more work to try to get that to actually line up. Well, no matter what, like there's no way to do a good angle, I don't think. So I'm just gonna leave it. I think we'll leave it like that. So, okay, that's a good, good start here. Oh, we need, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's place that wall there and then lock this one and we'll just nudge it. I'd rather it just not cover a little bit there. Okay. Uh, oh. Now it feels weird to not have a wall, I guess, so. So we'll just put a wall here. Oh, and that'll help me close up that little gap that was bothering me. Awesome. Ah, looks clean now. Probably about as clean as it's going to get. Um, sorry, tree. All right, so we've got our road that will come down here. Now we just add that. Need to add the walls. Oh, and patch in little tiny itty bitty holes. Oh, that's right. So I want to I want to replace these with two meter. So this side's easy. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted all of those. How exactly? Just <laughs> damn it! I really shouldn't have. Shoot. Um... All right. So ah, but that looks like I found the angle. Yep. 
All right. Ah, who's worried? Not me. I missed one. Get rid of those outside ones. Ah, last one. Cool. All right, so now we got our weird little road set up on this side. frustrating so, and then I can't it's snapping it won't let me go up or down because that is the downside to this blueprint which I did not realize But once you get it started, then they snap to each other really easily, so, oh well. <laughs> Guess we'll just do that. Alright, so... Uh... No, we'll have it... We'll use a ramp. about it that'd be much smoother all right so let's snap it oh this is an awkward spot because that's just not gonna well what I let's see okay so we'll just go to there and then we'll have this side we'll have this side snap you to there all right and is there a way that we can not have that little spot sticking out would be really nice it may oh it's gonna mess with the pattern a little bit ooh unless Will a half two meter foundation? Well, find out after this auto save. There we go. Heck yeah. And we are finally out of steel beams. Not bad, not bad. All right. Okay, so steel. Grab a couple of these. And, oh boy, this guy's still running, I forgot. All right, so I think I probably <laughs> I don't think I have a good amount of concrete. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Be right back.
All right, so now I've got. Oh, mouse pad got stuck. All right, um, let's finish up this a little bit here. Actually want to build that there. Okay, so lock it first. Only a meter off. Uh, actually, I do want to put one there. Okay, so now we can go way to there. easier anyways oh. all right and then right, let's do this side oh, I think I overhung just a little bit so that works out pretty well fix both of them oh yep all right so let's just go to there and then have that and i need to fix these to the two meter So, how do we want to do this? So, they come out from here, and then let's just get rid of you. And let's make you a ramp wall. Um, I guess four is actually... Yep. Yeah, that works out well. I like that. Uh, I'd rather keep it even, I think. Even though only a tiny bit will even be showing. Oh, if I can even get it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the snap there, huh? Can I do it like this? Will you snap to the bottom? No. Alright, you know what? We're just going to leave it like that. Um, Alright, so the truck's going to come down here. And then they're going to have to go back up here, switch, 
maybe I need to move back a little bit farther so I can ramp. Um, and then, yeah, I gotta figure out. All right, so copper's just on the other side of that. Caterium's way over there, but I think I'd rather just bring the Caterium to this spot. This height would just make everything easier. So I think that's what we're going to do. Or maybe not everything, actually. Well, I guess I really don't need this. Do I? Just needs to be the two. Mm, we'll leave it up to there. Okay, so put that one back. I guess I don't need three, so let's get rid of this one. exactly what I'm doing, so I'm just throwing down a whole bunch of foundation. Okay. So, I want them to come in here. We can, we can clean this up. Make this... Let's see... space. Uh, yeah, we'll go from here. So, so three. And there. There. And be there. Let's see how this looks. feels too wide but it looks funny be better. Yeah, that looks better. The other one was just one foundation too wide. It looked funny. All right, cool. So then we come in here, and then we leave through there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think this is good. So the question is now, how do I set up the truck stations? So usually, the way I like to do it is to have them basically in a line. 
So like one's here and then one is here. And then that way they both can easily come in, pull into their appropriate station and then go out and their, cro their paths don't really cross. Whereas if you set them like opposite or something or even kind of in a line, then when the first one has to like pull out, <clears throat> then it still kind of has to like cross over the path of the other one. The only tricky part is then getting it belted like that. But I think I can just build something that'll look cool and just kind of work. So I'm thinking that's what we do. So let's give it enough space. So what if we lock this first one here? Plenty of space to get around. Yeah, okay. So if that one's there, and then that gives me plenty of space to do the belt work. Yeah, we'll do that one there. Cool. So let's see, one, two, three. One, two, three. So I should be fine without this area right here. this because I think it looks cool and it helps me tell like I know it's these four tiles that are with the pickup zone so let's change the color to factory orange so when you make any item do you use other items you already made or do you start from scratch per item type Depends on the project. So, oh, that, that, that is a good question. I'd be on, well, I guess the most truthful, on a, honest answer is that I've planned out most of where things are going. So, for example, the, oh man, where am I? There we are. So the power plant, my very first oil power plant that's making 60K of power, right? It, it's making like, I don't know, 15, 1700 polymer resin per minute. And I have that going way over there to that other factory. And that factory is making more than what my big mega factory over there, yeah, where the space elevator thing is. I only needed like, I don't know, maybe 200 per minute. And I think I'm making, I don't know, four or 500. So I had extra and I purposely wanted it to be that way so that I could feed it to a drone port because there would be a project or two that only needed like 90 plastic per minute, right? And I didn't want to just have to go out of my way to make 90 plastic a minute because that's just a pain, right? Like getting oil and doing all that just for that little amount. And so in other saves, I would have just not used that recipe that used a tiny bit of plastic. I would have just found a different way around it. But this way, I had the extra, so I could use those. But things like this factory, I everything is going to be from scratch because it needs how many? I need 210 staters a minute. So I definitely didn't plan for that in any other factory. Or the 140 AI limiters. I guess I could have planned ahead for the steel pipes, but so for a few things, yeah, I'll I'll use the extra that I have in other factories. But for the most part, when I'm setting up a new factory, I find out how much of like the rawest resource I need to bring in because I'm usually not bringing in anything else.
Although that does obviously, it does change actually now that I'm, I'm thinking about it. It does change quite a bit towards the end of the game, but that's also because I'm planning on it, right? So like the, like this electromagnetic control rod factory is, um, I'm making 140, but it's actually going to, it's gonna go to a couple different places. Um, and it's gonna, at the end, it's just gonna have like, these things are gonna go to an open drone port so that my factories in the future can just um, have a drone come get it. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll just put it side of there. So, so that, that way I don't have to do the um, control rods. Uh, from scratch. Uh, <laughs> it looks so funny doing that, but you know what, whatever. so well Okay, cool. Oh, oh no, it does. It goes right through the rock. Nice. All right, so I do need to still add uh, kind of some supports here and there. But I think the road itself pretty much done. Okay, so for this truck's <clears throat> oh, excuse me, this truck stop. I'm thinking of using a bunch of the frame stuff and not necessarily completely enclosing it per se, but having a whole bunch of this stuff in places. Um, let's see. So I think I kind of want to put one like right, right next to it. Yeah. I don't want to have. Or not. Yeah, that's right. So it's. We're going to have to clip into each other. Or I just leave that little gap. And I think I'm just going to leave the little gap. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do the same thing here. Can create a bunch of frames everywhere. Oh, once many. Uh, we'll probably might as well connect these.
that's right. Fuel. Oh yeah, we're gonna fuel at the other side, so I don't need to fuel these ones. So, but I do need to get the inputs. I'm trying to think, do I want to use a? Should I use a buffer on this side? I mean, I guess I should. If I'm using a truck, I should probably just use a buffer. A tractor, you don't need to because the difference in uh, cargo size is so huge. Well, that makes it a little bit trickier. Just do I want, do I just have the... All right, let's play around with some stuff here. Okay, so if we had the industrial, if we had it lined up with that one, it would go there. Which is kind of a, it's just a lame spot. These things don't line up very well with the doors or anything. It's unfortunate. Well, if they're not going to line up at all, then I could just use the single one for both. And you know what? Maybe that would just... If something's going to have to be crooked, then... If we just did... Is that far enough? That would be nice if I just got the spacing right. Let's see. So... One, two, three, four. Do I think that'll be it? It works. I'm going to guess that's as close as it goes. Did that, what did that line up with? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, so let's get this lined up with the center. And then there's there. Cool. All right, so. Oh, I totally forgot that they weren't at the same height like it is for trains. Oh, it's so lame. Also realized that yeah I forgot that that's kind of how the walls went so if I wanted to not screw things up they'd have to plug into here truly really isn't that big of a deal uh, okay so it's got to be even farther back for them both to plug in well let's just try We'll go one meter at a time find out. And that was the right call. So that goes in there, that goes in there. And then you, sure, we'll go there. And then, does that, oh, I hit X, whoops. All right, so if that's centered, how do we get these plugged into there without it not being super weird? only thing I can think of. Let's see. So it'd have to go completely up and over, right? Although I could actually I can line those up. Oh, uh, if this thing was actually centered on one of these, then I probably could. Uh, 
but I don't think it's going to. So yeah, let's just go up and over. So that height? I think so. Which means that this one would have to come out to here. Right? Yeah, because that would be way too much. Oh, wait. So this one would actually have to be up to here, and that one would have to be even taller or off to the side. So this one could be this way. Oh, did I not place this? So where would that put those? So that would, oh, I forgot you're not gonna snap. Well, well let's give me something to actually snap to. No, I <laughs> messed the hidden buttons. So you would come to right there. quite straight. Alright, well. Actually, I think it's probably going to be this one. Should be right there, right? One, two. Yep. Alright. This one's got to be this one. Oh no! Aluminum sheet? Ooh, I wonder if that... That's probably like the one thing that I didn't queue up in the very beginning. ourselves enough room. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Is there anything else I should I should stock up on those? Some more of those. How are we on iron rods? Way too many copper sheets. I'm not doing pipes yet. Fill up a little bit of room. Uh, same with. Uh, we think we are, but I don't ever get it. It's it's hard. 
I think the only time I recently did it was because I I was looking at the wrong numbers on my spreadsheet and I thought I needed to build twice as many machines as I did. And then I built twice as many machines as I needed. And then when I went to start belting it up, I was like, oh wait, <laughs> this isn't gonna stretch all through here. What's wrong? And then I realized, yeah, I didn't need that many. So then all of a sudden I had too much space. It was great. Choo choo train. All right, that should be plenty. <laughs> oh boy, the trucks navigating through there is going to be entertaining. So, so the top one has got to go there. Okay, so I guess we just don't. Like, just go here to there. Awesome. So, what items do your individual drones bring? Uh, I wonder if I can place it. I probably don't have the materials, do I? Oh, I do. No, I'm sure it won't have you modular frame. Um, basically, at the starter factory, there is uh, a drone port for pretty much every single buildable item that I could need. So I have everywhere from concrete to turbo motors hooked up to um, their own individual drone ports. Hmm. This is just that awkward. Because if I turn it sideways, it would have to loop out. So I think we're just going to have to deal with the, the fact that it's got to do, oh, that's right. It doesn't snap to these. Come on. Snap to the foundation. Oh, come on. Wow. Okay, there we go. So now. No, it's not. Alright, just go away. Because it's the one meter in spot. Alright. Oh, I built that backwards. I hate doing that the most. So annoying. And I don't even know if I can place it where I placed it. Hold on. So I think I had it right there. Will this snap it? No. Need it to be there. Oh, that's just the tiniest bit. That's okay. All right, so that should be far enough. Uh, 
All right, so there to there to there. Move the containers back. Uh, yeah, they could probably move back like one more meter. The problem is, well, I guess I could add one meters to fix the uh, the height, but it's weird because they have to slope in or out. And the whole point of back here is it's going to be hidden anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So I just want to... Then close this up. dare add one more foundation to extend out oh just to extend it out that way yeah I mean that's always an option but I knew it was all gonna fit before why can't I nudge it oh now it works weird all right so let's just go to you know let's just keep it as close as possible why are you doing it again so weird there it goes huh is where we do the creative clipping just to make it look cool.
Oh, that's right. I forgot it's gonna be. Oh no, I don't want to delete those. It's just you. Mm. Yeah, let's do something. Well, I don't really want to block the path much. So maybe I don't do that. All right, so. It's not surprising. I've been going through a lot of beams here. Let's see, I wonder. No, those didn't end up in good spots at all. Maybe I just. Oh, I need more steel beams. You know, we should probably we should probably get some more of those. And you know what I know, I'm not going to have enough aluminum sheets. Let's get another one of those going. Uh, well, this looks good. It's fine for now. Yeah, we'll need more of those. Uh, who knows? Uh, are we on rods? We'll grab one more. I do need, I think, rubber for the trucks. Those can drop off their stuff. Okay, so let's. All right, let's see how this works out. So if we have frames coming out to, let's see, how high is that? So if I added the inverted one underneath it to give it the double ramp look and feel. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go to that height. Let's get rid of this one. And then if I grab the frame foundation. Finished off with that. Alright, so how does that work for... Oh, that's right, because now it's going to be half of foundation. Because those are off those. Hmm... Do I want it to go all the way up through the ceiling? 
looks a little funny, but also only if you're really looking at it. <laughs> or should I just leave it? Hmm. Let's do the other side. Part of me wants to have these go up to cover it, but then that's probably going to look really weird because those are going to be more noticeable. Yeah, now that looks weird. But what if, what if I just had those two? to the other side <laughs> hmm so we just have I was gonna label each one but I, I could add some stats that is always kind of nice oh honestly that's probably enough uh, let's see, so which one's going to be which? This one is probably going to be, because it's coming over, and it's on the left-hand side, so this is going to be Caterium, or, and then, I think we're getting the full 600 a minute. So that is Caterium, so this one's copper. And we'll use Pixit Primary. And I already. Is this one also 600? I think so. Wait a second. This isn't 600. I think this is 780, isn't it? I only need 600. Oh. Actually, I only need 578. So I guess it would be smarter to just 6,000 a minute. Let's go. I guess we can underclock it. Well, it's still going to be overclocked. Shenanigans! Okay, so we'll just say that this is like the truck stop. Stoop. Oh, 
All right. So. same as the rest of those walls all right so now I just need to get it's copper where are you it's copper okay oh you're also pure and of course I think that is just an awful height unless I wonder if they can just scoot right over that Let's see. What if we grab our foundation? Does it run right into this? It runs right into it. That's that's what I was afraid of. Dang it. We just go. This is. Switch these to. Do these little buses with grip metal? Why not? And also, let's make this mark. Mark one. <laughs> One meter. Okay, so let's grab our... Oh, boy. Alright, so I guess we should go four meter. I really don't need to do foundations the entire way. We can just uh, we can make it work in an easier way, I think. It's fine. Really, it's just to help line everything up. All right, so well, we do reach out to here. Let's see. So if I had you just go there. Actually, you know what, since it does reach there, um, you know, this has been a, a fun new thing that is probably more or less a waste of materials, but I think it looks cool. I remember seeing some people do these before, where you make like... little 
outpost things to run the belts and stuff too as your bus instead of just doing a belt out in the open sort of a thing. And uh, I think it's neat. And then you just, oh, too many. We just cover it up. Ooh, but the other big advantage to doing this is it gives me a really convenient way to run power. And because of the weird way that it keeps like whatever you like are clicking on from. It's like the one time I actually wanted to keep placing double. Granted, I could just run it straight through with a normal connector, because I really don't mind the clipping. But this does give you some convenient options. If you're running pipes like this, which I did in my other little side project I worked on over the weekend in the swamp, I made a my second aluminum factory, which is essentially just a smaller version of the big one I have. Uh, just kept all the same blueprints and everything. Um, but I did this over there, and it was really nice for the pipes because I could put like the pumps in there, and then I already had the power right there and everything, and it worked out really well. It was actually, no, we do want that to be as close to the belt as possible. Kind of helps hide it. So we go from there. And then, oh. This is not really a good spot. Alright. Well, alright. So where can you plug in that doesn't really... Ah, that works. Alright, so you go there. And now we can just add whatever roof we want. And we're just going to use fix it because it's the most colorful. What is that? Oh, it's so dark in there. You can't tell. All right. So let's plug you back in. Oh, I forgot to do that. So OK, like that. So now I grab our flat roof. And there we go. And now we have a fun little bus that's really flexible because you can easily run three three belts or pipes. Um, pipes are actually much more flexible because if you add a second wall second wall is all you need to be able to do nine pipes whereas you can only do three I really wish they would let you add the wall conveyor hole anywhere like you can with the pipes that would be really cool instead of having them as set wall pieces just have them be um, a separate item in the shop like the the wall hole is. Right, let's do that here. Ah, too many. All right, so that one and that one. Um, yeah, this is. actually I guess we'll just be using the regular one cool so that gets that that way and now Ooh, actually, let's delete this because what I'm gonna do, I can delete you. So, 
this one is going to go here, but then we'll make a right turn, so I don't have to deal with this. <laughs> and then... And we'll go this way. Seven. That's as far as a belt will go. <laughs> Is this the best way? No, probably drawing just a straight line and running it on the ground would probably be better. But that doesn't look nearly as cool as going this route. I'm probably going to want to drop it down, aren't I? Probably, although I don't actually have to. I could just keep it the same height all the way out. That would be interesting. All right, so you go there, you go there, and there, and there. Well, sorry trees, you just got caught in the wrong spot. Uh, nope, can't quite go that way yet. So let's see, should we go the full? Yeah. Hmm, I guess this is where it's a little bit ridiculous. Maybe I should go, maybe I should go a little bit lower to the ground so it's not as wild here all right so if i add any ramp i can't go quite the same distance i'll only be able to go one less um uh, yeah that's a good height i think oh wait a second is that too many uh yeah wait a second we've got to go one short there we go. Okay. So. That should work. But let's. Test it out here. Yep. Oh, that's definitely going the wrong direction though. So. Get rid of you. Okay. So, go seven, delete these seven. I should have made this a blueprint. I actually did with the water ones, but then didn't for this. Which is really silly now that I'm thinking about it. So, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's do that. There's enough of these where that makes sense. All right. So the reason I'm placing that one underneath is now I can delete that one, which is where it's really supposed to be. Come over to Blueprint Designer. I kind of had a feeling that was going to be short. Hey, I forgot to color you. Where'd the other ones go? Oh, that's where they went. I have to add more of those little pillars with lights. That would be kind of cool. Okay, so thankfully, I grab more of those. And I might as well just do it over here. Oh, wait a second. I already have them built, duh. Alright, so this one is saved. So, <coughs> we can clear you. 
All right, so let's build our our new fun little oh too many little bus we got going on. All right, so from the bottom. Uh, fix it and then we switch to some steel walls and then the so the nice thing is, is I could just make the blueprint for a single and then if I ever need to make it a different one I could just go around and just replace that wall really quick and easy but the other benefit of doing this is now I can add these into the blueprint ooh do I add see okay yeah you know what we're gonna add the blueprint and we're gonna really hope that I'm paying attention It's going in the direction of wherever the arrow is going to be pointing. I hope I remember that. If not, I mean, I just I delete it and replace the belt. This is really not a big deal. I'll just have to delete the, uh, the roof or whatever, probably. All right, so we grab our flat roof and slap that on there. Um, and I think, I think that's it. Okay, so... Um, belt, bus, wall holes. I don't really know how to make that descriptive enough for me to actually remember. I guess we'll put these with cosmetics. Is that where I put it? Ah, pipe bus. Oh, I made it just a way simpler name for the other one, I think. Um, let's use wall hole. Uh, there we go. The only color that's in there. All right. But you know, the beauty of doing it as a blueprint is now I can come over here and actually make sure if I want to build 10 of these, I got enough material. Awesome. Uh, but which is surprising. Because I have such few aluminum sheets, but I guess that's because there's only that little bit inside. All right, not bad. extra wire on the outside because I can do it from inside oh and we can just go straight to here yeah all right so there to there So the arrow, where are you arrow? Arrow is facing that way. Okay, so we just need to get this lined up. Looks good. Okay. 
guess I could have gone a little bit lower, but oh well. Uh, let's, see. let's see. Where is it gonna? That looks the straightest. Did I get it right? Let's see. Oh. I might. I guess I wasn't. Oh, am I like. Oh, I'm that 45 degrees off from the world grid. That's why. Duh. I forgot I did that. Um, okay, so maybe not that far. Um, where? Well, then I guess it would just plug into this side. And in that case, I'll probably plug into there just fine. Okay, do I even have... I do. Okay, let's just get this built. Get it out of the way. All right, get our minor mark three. Pull that down. Let's get that built bus. Arrow facing the right way. Let's see, slam you down and right there. Cool. So now I can delete this bottom one, which was just there to let me line it all up. see how well this works with that um yeah i don't imagine yeah i didn't think it would even reach but even if let's see all right so i think it'd probably be better if we went something like this see so, so this is pretty close to like right on the line of these two foundations so let's just you know we'll anchor it there all right and where would you like right there yeah that looks pretty straight okay so put you there and then you there and then how to make this look You know what? Maybe when it's all done, it won't even look that weird. Let's see. Because we're obviously not going to leave these as floating platforms. I guess it does look a little bit weird. I guess we could just have. Can I actually anchor it to that? Oh, that would have been so nice. But no. Let's see, let's see there, or there. Yeah, it's like right in between. So I think we'll just ch cheat and try to find. Oh, but it's not even a not even be a convenient height, is it? It's a 
course it's not. <laughs> this is on the corner of four different ones. Uh, that's pretty funny. All right, well, that's what nudge is for. Great pillar? Yeah, probably the big one. Let's wait for this auto save. Yeah, I like that. That doesn't look so bad. Was gonna run it underneath, but I mean that's still just gonna be not the cleanest. All right, and now we can connect this up. And I did place them all the right way. That's awesome. is like just as long as the truck route's gonna be. <laughs> Whatever. Tracks are silly and fun. Share this one. All right, let's give the rest of these supports and then we'll finish off the. Uh, I don't like when it's like mostly covered. I'd rather have it sitting on another foundation. Um, I think it just needs the. One meter walls. Well, actually, walls and roofs. We'll just say that.
right, so let's see. Roofs. Oh, that's the part we're missing. Cool. So I think that is. I think everything's like hooked up together. Oh, except for I think yeah, the power just ends right there. So I do need to figure out. Um, let's see. Let's see, and this one, let's just bring, let's see, to there. Sure. Actually. here uh, hopefully we're not disconnected all right and bring it down to there to there okay so now it's hooked up to with that one machine. This machine, uh, we can. Where should we do the power? Let's do it along the roof. We can do it in between these two. All right, well, now they're all connected. Cool. And... Do the... Oh, yeah, we should just... Oh, where did I... Random frame wall. So, let's, yeah, there we go. That makes sense.
Hmm, do I just have, I mean, I don't really want to add pillars. That'd be just a lot easier if we just did. Concrete walls all the way down. We'll have the uh, the road can flow, and we'll put some supports in the truck station. Just get you anchored to the ground, I think. So. Um, actually, that makes sense to just have this whole thing. Let's be realistic. I'm not going to be driving on the ground. I don't need to have a tiny bit of extra space there. Nice. All right, so the trucks will come in here. This way they can pull into the right one and then head on out. Can we add more silly patterns for like no reason? Just because I want to? There's arrows or something, isn't there? Oh yeah, scrolled right past them. So we put these arrows there. And then, ooh, those arrows there. Let's see what other good ones are here. Um, ooh, little left arrow. Make sure you turn as you get out of here. Change these to. Yeah, I'll go with the good old orange. So I want to make this all like. Oh, it's on the wrong side, isn't it? Uh, I'd have to use the custom. I don't think this color matters actually. So let's see, do I have. Did I not save like the bright yellow? Huh. Like it's a little different. Oh uh, yeah. Cause we change a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> Yeah, I like the yellow. It's a little bit brighter. Let's make sure I save it in case I want to use that again. Uh, yeah, we'll just, just yellow. Okay. Cool. So, I think, besides running power all the way out here, which... I was thinking, I mean, the fun way to do it would be to use some street lights. Um, and I could run power out here that way. I'm just not sure how I want to place them along the road. Because I think they're tall enough on, on their own. But then... But I could also just... What was I thinking? The small metal? Eh, maybe the metal looks weird. I was thinking, like, what if I just hung a... 
Uh, I guess you'd have to clip it through there like that. Like just snap like a pillar to the side every so often. And then have that be where the light goes. Because then it's completely off the road. I guess you get it even less centered. Cause, but what does that matter? Hmm. I think I might do it like that. I think I might do the... Can't really think of another thing that would look. <sighs> I mean, you could add like a beam connector, but I don't think that's gonna look. That's not even big enough. It's just the normal painted beam you could also do. Uh, that one actually. Huh, yeah. All right, let's grab some quick wire. But then the question is, do I put lights on both sides? Ooh, maybe I do and I just alternate them. Ooh, we could do that. All right, so let's have these first ones. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna have it be right here. Oh, but if I'm gonna alternate, then I can't have them both right there. Yeah, let's just see how this goes. This may be a horrible idea. And I scratch it, but we'll see. All right, so we set you right there. How far do you go? So you could go to like, I think it's the halfway basically. So we'll keep it to here. All right, I need I need a hot bar. Oh yeah, this was for making roads. I'm done making the road, so. All right, so street light. I need the small metal pillar. Let's grab. Um, power line. Is that all I need? we'll see all right so if you go there so how many something I should know oh, it's 12 and a half oh it's the same as the hyper tubes I guess that makes sense doesn't it all right so 12 and a half is the most so we're just gonna do 12 and then we'll just offset them so that means at the six, we're gonna have one on this side. And that way we get some nice actual light coverage on the road. And we're not gonna zigzag the, uh, the power lines. They're just each gonna have their own. Um, I'll do the ramp last all right so let's just go 12 you know what? we'll just go we'll just alternate them and it gives it like more supports than just the normal bits Kind of, not really. Um, oh, that's where it is. All right, so three, four, five, six.
let's see. So right here. side it's really going to be just for the actual light so the other side's actually going to be the one that runs the power all the way there so oh man but that it ends up ending perfect Cool. Alright, so let's place down some lights now. I'm like, I'm going to build this electromagnetic control rod factory, and I've, like, not placed a single machine. <laughs> but we're getting our cool road that's completely unnecessary. Building this would have been so much faster. But sometimes get towards the end and it's kind of like well I kind of want to just try this out for fun yeah oh well Let's get the power all the way out here. All right, so, oh, yeah, we're just gonna have to have the power line. Uh, it's gonna have to clip through some stuff, I think. All right, it's okay. are great at clipping through things. Um, I would guess on the corner. Feels like I need to put it like right on the corner. Especially since it can angle in at that 45 degrees, so. So, just gonna have to clip through the mountain there. And we're gonna clip it through the mountain again. Alright, so let's get to. Just go to here. This one connected straight through, <laughs> straight through there. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we've got a nice lit up path, which means this isn't the most lit up. So, what if we could 
at that, that'll light up this whole front part. I don't know, maybe another one to help light up. Well, maybe we need ceiling lights instead. snaps of the underside no hmm a little bit weird, but it's okay. And then let's ah, there we go. Let's get that wire deleted. So you go to there, and then you go to here, and then from you can go all the way back. So now, now it's all connected. All the way back to the front here. I think that wall is not, not quite right. supposed to be down now oh yeah and then now that screwed up maybe we just leave it like that nice it's a fun little random truck station out of curiosity actually I should be able to I guess I need to grab just one of the connectors huh how much is on this power grid? Oh. I guess the lights aren't really that much. Oh, yeah, they're only one. Oh. I don't know why I thought the lights... I guess they just add up to be a lot if you have, you know, a thousand of them in your world. All right, cool. So this should give the road decent light coverage. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to make sure. Yeah, I didn't thought so. Should be fine even with the slope. Awesome. 
Oh, that's perfect. So the very first street light is supposed to be right here. Let's see. How do we want to... Yeah, we'll give it a tiny bit of space instead of smashing them together. So then we connect you to there, and somehow we'll get that all connected. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, not bad, not bad. I left that explorer way out there, didn't I? All right, let's go grab that. Let me test out this. Gonna be able to get on. Can I build a truck? No, that's what I needed the rubber for. All right. Well, in that case. All right. Where do I? I mean, I guess I kind of want to just test this out, don't I? Just make sure there's not any huge flaws when you actually try to drive it. All right, so, man, get out. Look at the workbench. There we go. All right. Oh, man, the Explorer is so fast now. All right, so, go there, and then we go over to here. And then... Other. Hmm. I forgot. Yep, they're set to load by default. Okay, cool. So, and then we turn out here. And it's the one place where they can kind of collide. Ooh. Let's make sure we don't try to take that turn too sharp. And then off to the races. A little straightaway finish here. Oh, holy cow! That e brake. I want to do a two seventy. Holy cow! Oh, I was hoping I could spin around a full 360 easier. Okay, cool. So yeah, that looks that looks good for the road so far. I oh, I didn't run myself over. Cool. <laughs> Thought I knocked myself out. All right, and then I just got to figure out how to make this a fun entrance. And then put the um, the other truck stops in here. Well, I probably want to have it be a similar thing. I'm just I've found a really easy method for them not to just uh, take each other out all the time. So. Let's see. Um, yeah. You need to have plenty of room to be able to end up making the U-turn also. So, just scoot these back. So, have you there. And then, just give it plenty of space because I should have plenty of space down here. Do 
only other things I imagine is I'll probably actually just block off the uh, the room for the truck station just so I can run the belts for the other things around without having to worry about it. Let's tentatively lay out some of the so I mean how much space do we need here? Three? That's plenty. To be able to make the turn. Uh I mean really it just needs to go to there actually. <laughs> I'll probably have those go to the roof to get around. And then one, two, three. I should be plenty to move around. And we can just have these go to the, yeah. Alright, see that's probably what this room is gonna be like. So yeah, trucks will drive in, drop off their stuff, turn around. Yeah, it's way more space than they need, but that's okay. So I also want to use this space to bring up the rest of the materials. So what are we looking at? Right. Might as well do it too. Do I want to do it on the end square? Let's see. Where are these two? Yeah, probably. Might as well just do it on the corner. Alright, so what what material am I using? Oh yeah, we can do the same, same trick. Cause this should, yep, that'll clear it. All right, so we go eight, and then delete these. And. Alright, so belts need to be going that way. Except for it doesn't matter because I need to delete the belt. Because I'm going to change this to that. And then if I. Can I just. Can, oh, I can. It's convenient. Okay, so that goes there to there. Alright, so question is do I want to add let's see Ooh, I think I think right there is a good spot let's see if this works all right so let's try something so if we put the bus right there All right, so what if we change, what if we made the walls look something like that? Can, can we make that work or is that gonna be too close? I might be too close. It's totally gonna be too close. All right, well, let's get this stuff placed. Okay, so production. I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna have enough. What do I not have enough of? I have enough turbo motors. Did I use all the fused modular frames? Oh, I've got 10. Yeah. 
because I, I need to get more of those so I can get... Oh, I don't even have enough steel pipes either. All right, well, let's see. Can I at least... Oh, what? Wait a second. Ow. What? what? I'm so like the okay. So this is for sure on the global grid. This entire factory is not. No way you're lying. You are not lying. Oh man, I. I lined it up on this thing thinking that I was like, this is for sure on the global grid because I think I placed it close and it was close, but it's, oh my God, what did I do? Oh man. Oh, but if I had done that, merging these two would have been even worse. Or whatever it just looks a little bit weird from the top it doesn't really make that big of a difference if not it's actually easy to make those ones line up all right well since we're over here let's get some more fuse modular frames uh i don't have extras in here no all right, so those I for sure want to make sure I turn off and not let deplete my whole inventory. Actually, it's really not a big deal now that I have that other fused modular frame factory going. I'm making way more right there. Probably would have been faster just to go grab some, but I'm lazy. And this way I can just do something else all right so all right so let's see yeah it would definitely be it would be too close going that way all right all right all right all right all right so that's one too close so if we put it right there I think that might actually be in a really good spot for both of them. Let's see. And you know what? Because it might just make my life easier. Let's do, let's do this. All right, since I screwed it up and it's not even on the world grid, at least I can do is put all of these things on the same grid at least. Okay, so let's just blow that up real quick. And grab ourselves a Mark III Miner. And then the blueprint. Definitely not that one. All right, so let's put this one. We'll just do that. And then, uh, yeah, get rid of that belt. And you go there. Change you to a two. Okay, so what are we looking like now? Oh, oh man, that is close. So could we go from here? And, oof, is this just gonna be too close that it's not gonna, this is totally not gonna match up, is it? Ah. So I can push that one farther, or I can probably make this a little bit ridiculous. We could just go like that, and then like this. That's really not that ridiculous. 
Jesus. And then, so let's just put this there. And that's right, I'm gonna need those fuse frames that probably got sent all the way back there. All right, so let's grab another Mark III miner. And oof, oof. So I guess let's have it face this way, and then we'll have this one also face this way. And we'll throw some more foundations there. We can leave these ones in the back. And all right, so. So that's yeah, whatever. Not bad, not bad. Um, and let's get rid of you and you. We'll get you lined up to there. Let's see, so that can you just plug straight in there? Oh, of course you're gonna somehow clip through there. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's put that in a better spot. Let's go from here to if we have it come out this corner. How was that for both of them? Nice. That goes behind it, and then ah, perfect. All right. Well, just. So I know which one's which. All right, so you are copper. And that makes you iron seed and gray. And I'm sure I don't need the full 780. Oh, did I need to just enter, didn't I? How's the build going? Going well. <laughs> Still here, just building. <laughs> I know how that goes. <laughs> I uh, I've got the road done. My road for the sake of building a road because I wanted at least two trucks running around in my world just for fun. So it's usually I either figure out how I'm getting all of the materials there first or I do that last which I usually don't do because that usually bites me in the ass I feel um, and then I actually build the machines so got most of the Uh, you know, I knew it. It looked just too far. I knew it. But thankfully, that gap is really short, so it doesn't actually matter. All right, so how far is this? Is that? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I need to delete. Ah! seven okay so yeah it was one off it needed to be on that one okay so I can delete most of it delete that all right so there 
So what area are you doing the nuclear? I was thinking of probably doing mine. I say in the swamp, but I think my plan is to actually go right outside the swamp over the water. Because I actually really hate the swamp. I just really dislike how it like mutes all the colors like everything becomes like black and white mid map but far north by the water and i don't mind belting training stuff there oh okay yeah i'm pretty sure that's where that's probably right where i more or less have my Oh yeah, there's crates because I forgot to clean that up. This is where I have my like 85,000 megawatt oil plant. It's a good spot. I'm thinking I'm going to do my mine out here because I think once you get past like this spot, like right here, the colors turn normal again. But this area at below a certain height, like if you if you just go straight up, like everything becomes colorful. But then when you drop down like near the ground, it's just everything's like black and white, it seems. And I just, I don't like it. I mean, like part of me thinks it's cool for the zone to be like that. But then when you actually like build there, one, it's kind of hard to see. And then it just, it doesn't, nothing looks good. So... I think I'm going to build in that area because there's quite a bit of water to build on and well, you need a lot of water. Um, and it's really close to one of the uranium and a good number of other resources. I think my very first one was out in the the dune desert i just basically put it as far into that top corner of the map as i could and that is where i learned that drones are not the greatest for high throughput items i wanted to be like really safe and so i wanted to transport the uranium by drone and then it wasn't on my train line and everything right and um holy cow it takes so many drones to transfer 600 uh per minute of any ore that was that was a nightmare i think i had like i think i had like two or three i had three did i have like yeah, I think I needed like three drone ports by the uranium and then another like three and then be both all of them had drones going to each other. It was just like, yeah, this is not not really the best way to transport or. All right, so there is the other copper that I need and the iron. So the only thing left is these two coal which now that i'm thinking about it i can actually um just actually why don't i just do it like that um i can combine them i need both nodes because i can only get 600 out of one but really I only need like, I need 630. Uh, just over what one of these puts out. So I can just merge. Merge these up before I send it. So you go to there. And then you go to there. And one, two. 
Perfect. Not excited. <laughs> Transporting stuff uh, by drones in the future, but it's just going to be small quantities. Uh, this build is basically a full assembly to make uranium rods. It's obviously the new. Yeah, yeah, it's quite the um, production chain. Although I still think that, like, just making the very end game items, like, making one turbo motor is. I, I feel like more involved and complicated. Even like a supercomputer, I think probably. Oh, maybe not. That one's actually not too bad. But some of the last space elevator parts, I feel like probably have more steps than nuclear. It's just that nuclear requires so much of so many random things. But yeah, transporting stuff by drones, as long as the amounts are low the other thing to keep in mind is the stack size but yeah like if like I'm I'm gonna be using drones to move these electromagnetic control rods just because no one factory is gonna need more than you know that's a good question how much so, okay, so that thing needs a whole 20 of them. That needs 20 of them. That must be actual nuclear, isn't it? So if we look at, how many, how many do I need for that? Oh yeah, that's the bulk of them. So I need 96 just for that. And I honestly think one drone port is gonna be able to transport 96 of them fine. Cause I mean, I can carry nine stacks, so then they, oh, I think it's stacks of 100. Oh no, now that I'm thinking about it, what do those stack in? It's not 50, it can't be. But now, I really wanna know. Because if they're 200, oh man, I'm so set. One hundred. Okay, so that's still fine. So I mean, I should be able to do a round trip in nine minutes to anywhere in the map. So I should be fine. Yeah. But yeah, once you get more than like a hundred a minute, it's gonna start getting dicey. I feel. All right, so can I just, oh, I forgot I didn't build these. I built this on, all right, delete it, tear it all up. Just, just get rid of it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Why didn't I double check and make sure this is on the world grid? I'm so silly. Where did you come from? All right, so, no, not building on the world grid. We're dropping it down from here. We're gonna get the same grid as the rest of it. Because I'm stubborn. I'm not gonna change it all now. Okay, let's try this again. There to there. Grab merger. And we'll set it. Uh, it's totally gonna end up having to clip through the ground, isn't it? Let's see. Not really. 
just a tiny bit, but not the moving part. Uh, is that? Yeah, it just kind of lines up in a weird spot. I know there's ways to get around that, but hey, buddy, I don't have any berries for you. Okay, so now that actually goes into a, oh, right on the foundation. Whatever, it's fine. All right, so I need, like, uh, yeah, that'll be more than enough. Just put one shard in each one. Oh, I'm so dumb. There are berries. <laughs> right here. Where did you go? Start another doggo farm. And one day, try to get all of them. Is that close enough? Oh, it is. Oh, I moved my mouse just the tiniest bit. Dang it. Come back. Come back here. Where did you go? Oh, come on. Don't run away. Hooray! Oh, man. Let's see. What do we... Oh, we should get some more in case I find you a friend. Um, Where should you hang out? Let's build you a little home here. Well, I guess you can hang out next to the, the actual finished part, which is this random... Um, this random concrete miner here. And you can overlook the lake. What do I name you? Okay. Come on. All right, let's go this way. Please tell me I have silica on me. Oh, I do. Ah, oh, victory. All right, let's make you. This is your, this is your office, little guy. You are, you're the supervisor. So you can be called Soup. That's your nickname now. All right, buddy. Bring me random stuff every once in a while. Hopefully I'll find you a friend. Cool. All right, so minor detour over <laughs> all right so that's the coal let's check my spreadsheet oh we should go to the correct page there we go all right so we've got the iron we've got the coal deuterium and copper are both sorted and that's besides a whole bunch of water. That's it. Oh man. That part's easy. Okay. So I do need quite a bit of water though. So let's figure that out. And because 
future. And you would probably appreciate it. Let's let's add some signs here. All right. So which one is which here? So iron came up. So it's on this left side. All right. So this is gonna be iron ore, and that's six hundred per minute. I like to use oh, white stands out just a little bit better. And you are copper. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just say six hundred. I don't think I oh I did overclock it to 600 oh and I overclocked you to 780 for no good reason what do I need like oh I need 630 okay well st even still let's you know what 720 is fine Seven twenty. Okay, so I do still need to figure out those, but to actually run the truck stations, I also need to set up a drone port. Because I don't, I could totally run them off coal, but I'm gonna need to set up the drone port anyways for the export, and I would want, I probably want to just have the batteries here. It would just make life easier making sure that these ports are filled so if that's the case then i might as well run them on batteries yeah all right talk to myself out of doing coal just because it's easy all right so water water is always a fun one how do we want to do that well i guess the question is where where do i want to do i want to have I think I'll just have the water pipes come up like right here. I don't think I need that many. Um, Okay, so mm, actually, uh, maybe farther over this way. Actually, I'm trying to—it's the easiest way to avoid. Probably like right here. I think that would probably be. All right, just run that straight up. Okay, so I need, let's just punch a hole in the wall for each one. So I need, for sure it's three pipes, right? I know that. Um, but is it more? I think it might be. So I need 570 nine for Caterium, so that's one pipe. 557 for the copper ingot, so that's one. And then 700 for the steamed copper sheets. So that's two. Okay, so, oh, wow, they're like lost all their, ugh, they get so ugly from not even that far away, man. Graphics aren't even that low, are they? No, I have them on high. Weird. I'm surprised they get so ugly so quick. 
Okay, so do I want to do two sacks of two or do the three and one? I think maybe we do just two stacks of two. All right, so. That's probably going to be. Let's see. Alright. That's not bad. Okay, so... I think I want to switch it up down here. And let's use... Um... Yeah, you know, we're going to use fixes so we can add some color. Let's go... We're going to just make all this blue. Just, why not? Let's spice it up. Let's make things colorful. Okay, so... Those... Oh, it's just barely in the water. Nice. Alright, so... I'm gonna guess that's... That's not actually gonna be deep enough for the water extractors to snap to. It's way too shallow. Alright, but that should be... I always forget to use this trick. And it's so nice them actually having a spot to snap. Alright, so if I snap you there and then you there, you're just going to line up just really nice with that. on a vertical perfect and then if we came to here one and two go with that uh, okay so I'd have to go all right so maybe okay so one two would be right on the edge all right so what if I did Oh, but then it's too close to do it there. And you wouldn't make the right turn. Interesting. So I'd have to do it like that. Can I make it look the same if I do? Oh, okay. It does push it a little bit farther that way. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Alright, so this is actually going to be really easy. Okay, so let's make sure we do... Uh, there we go, there we go, and I should have counted how many meters away it was, so let's do, let's do this, um, so it's four, four meters to that little band. Can I put that there? It will let me... Oh, heck yeah. Cool. That's a great measuring stick. Thanks, Painted Beam. Alright, so now... That'll be the second pipe. That's the third pipe. And... Of course, I'm out of rotors now. Not even as much water as I was thinking it was going to need. Oh yeah, I don't even need an even number. Because one of those pipes needs very little. Uh, rotors. Rotor, rotor, rotor. So really, I could probably just do that, but I'm totally just going to end up filling up all the pipes. <laughs> all 
All right, so those go there, and you, and you. Cool. So from here, go to there, to there, there, to there. So let's close it, kind of. Okay, so, and then with this one, we're gonna bring it to, yeah, we're gonna bring these to this foundation mark. And then at the halfway is where we'll bring it up to the second level. Wait, come on. Ah, not quite far enough. There we go. Um, and because I obviously don't want that to clip straight through that pipe, just delete that. Cool. And so how far can these go? We can go to, yeah, we'll go to here. All right, so let's place you there and you there. Get the bottom ones brought out. And then you. I do want to just get rid of these since I don't feel like placing it under all of them to make it look the same. Uh, there we go. Cool. Alright, so let's finish running our pipe all the way to the wall. Copper sheets. Where do I put you? Lucky guess. All right, so. I'm hoping I only need one pump, but I'm kind of thinking I'm probably going to need two. Oh, well. far oh you get to like right there oh it's so close well luckily for me I ran into this before and nine block wall mount v2 let's go look at that just need to slap this down right there. And bada boom, bada bang. Oh, I love blueprints. Because now I can just delete the blueprint. <laughs> You served your purpose. And uh, now you can be gone. Oh, that makes life so much easier. That's beauty. All right, so there's no way. Uh, how many foundations is that? All right, so... Oh, well, shoot, if I could... 12, okay, so yeah, it's... 48 just to there. Okay, so. 
Uh. Will it actually get the distance? Hmm. All right. So what if? If we just have all the pumps right here. Because actually, if they don't have that middle one, they actually don't really clip into each other. Eh, not too much. I guess they do still kind of clip into each other, but the moving pieces don't if you don't have that middle one, which is pretty nice. So, and then, you know what, to hide these wires, why don't we just connect them all right down to here? So we could just do it right there. And let's make you a Mark II. And you, and you, and I guess I should have rotated those around if, <clears throat> all right, you know, let's see. Well, let's see what it looks like. So snap you and rotate uh, to there. Yeah, it's so hard to tell sometimes. Right there. All right, and then will you snap? You're not gonna snap. All right, and spin, spin, spin. And that looks pretty good. All right, so them spun around and now I don't have to clip through anything nice all right so let's replace those and let's do I don't even know what this is but this this little method seems to work out pretty well for me Line it up into the middle of the machine. And somehow it avoids clipping. All right, and we'll bring you to here. And you can connect to that. And you can also come to Oh, I connected this row one meter higher. That's so funny. And you connect to there. Did I? Oh, I missed all the in-between connections. It's fine, because I think I also forgot to... Ah, oh, no, there. So, with that, I just need to run the power all the way back here. Can we get it to, oh, we can, heck yeah. Just get the plug in back there. I'm not sure if I'm going to completely enclose this area or if I want to leave it more open. Or maybe have it like slant backwards before it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So there's a good chance this wall won't actually be there. Let's get you to connect to. Uh, 
that right on the edge is good. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do just in case, because there's a small chance I actually have to add pumps <laughs> right here. Uh, would be a bummer, but hopefully I don't. So let's just slap that in there. And then, you know what? Let's grab the normal wall outlet. Put you on uh, the roof like that. Get you connected. And let's run. Uh, let's see, where is that going to go? I'll probably do like here. Where is it? Oh, and I'm out of cable. for laziness you can just get them all the same amount really easy there you go there's four six hundred pipes way more than I need cool so that's that and then uh, actually if this is its own room that would be gonna end up being a wall so let's do this is a double is this the right foundation it is let's get you hooked up to there ah uh, yes and this is where So, oh, no, we should do it on the, there we go. Uh, yeah, where would, I guess it's right there. Yeah, it's pretty close. This is going to end up on the other side of the wall. That's pretty funny. Well, that's if I put the wall there. But I might as well. Um... Of mud water, I guess. Oh, where am I going? Too far. 
Okay, so let's grab the double outlet and snap that there. All right, so now the water pumps and the truck stations are all connected. The only one that I haven't, oh, those ones too. Okay, so I can almost get everything all on the same power grid. We just need to, let's see, where's a good spot? Right there? Yeah. I guess I could go one spot higher. There we go. So there to there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So this will get those other miners and truck stations all connected. Wait a second. Did I? I knew it. I knew it. Didn't want you to be a double anymore. I think it would be fine if when you drag it out from here and it's gonna place it as a double, right? If I could hold E and switch between the different ones, I wouldn't care. But this seems really dumb to me that these are my options coming off of a double. Like, I know it's because I selected the power line, but like, I don't know. Something there needs to be reworked. And I know that's just like a, it's kind of a small nitpicky thing, but I, I think it would be a beneficial change. Okay, so we got that hooked up, so let's drag this. Oh, that's right, you're still a double, so I need to drag. Let's see. So if I come to this line, is it this? Nope, next one over. This one. This one? Nope, it's the halfway mark. Yep, all right. We'll get this all lined up. All right, so you connect to there. And then let's grab our walls. And we will grab another double. All right, so you connect to there. And then you connect to there. And I think that should be just about everything. Which, I guess it's hard to tell. I guess most of these things don't use a lot of... Yeah, 20 megawatts. Don't use a crazy amount of power. Okay, so... Oh, I still need to get this side. Oh, because this is actually the main side. What am I thinking? This is the one that actually has the other truck stations. That's just a few lights. Okay, so... <laughs> the easiest. Oh, but you can only have two things connected. Ah. So I need to connect it somehow to this one. Uh, so I'm wondering if just snapping this through everything is probably the easiest solution, right? Just get you to snap into there and then get you to just run through just about everything. How do I get? Yeah, we're just going to. We're going to bury this cable like it doesn't exist. And, uh, yeah, just, that's what we're going to do. All right, well. Let's get this across.
across. Um, because then from here, we're going to go to here. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so from there, we run you to here, to there. And bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, you snapped a weird spot. All right, let's see. So how do you look? Yeah, I mean, there's not, it's not a whole lot you can do because it's so off center like that. All right, so now, The power graph should have gone up. Oh yeah, a bunch more. 117, 356. Wow, there's that much more on that side of things? I thought it was just two truck stations and the two miners. Why did it jump up so high? What am I forgetting? Huh. Well, whatever. I've got enough power. Um, which I guess I do need to kind of figure out how to actually turn these on. Not like any of them need to be turned on yet, but. All right, so let's clear you up. And we're just gonna delete you. So I think the first floor is gonna be all the refineries. And then the second floor will be everything else. Oh, maybe I can get the foundries on the refinery level too. That'd be nice. All right, so I'm thinking there's pretty good progress for for today, I think. So I'm going to check on this heavy modular frame factory, make sure it's finally up to 100%. And then I think I'm going to call it and get some food. All right, so unfortunately, the best way I know is just to painstakingly check all of them. So we're up to 98. So we're still, so modular frames are still an issue. Let's, let's check, see if anything else is having modular frame issues. Yeah, all of these should be 100%, but they do feed in from different directions, so it's possible. Okay, so let's take a look at our modular frames. So. Everything feeds in, I think from, oh no, they do come in from either opposite sides. So I guess I gotta just check pretty much all of these. So it's at 100%, just barely getting what it needs, but hey, the ones on either side of it, completely full. So, all right, that's, that's running though, okay, so you're completely full all right let's check this side is yep all right so I think I think it's just this last one is just gonna it's taking a while is it this one this one this one wait which one was it We were at 98% and, and now it's gone. I'm pretty sure it was this one right here. It's the one that's closest, because I think, yeah, this one's full and this one's full. Okay. So it must have just more or less finally caught up. Pretty sure. Just to help it out, we'll just top it off. 
and we should be good. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll just double check the blender since I'm here. And uh, make sure these are all still at 100%. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so I think we're, I think we finally got this factory completely up and running. We're running a hundred percent now. Ooh, all right, already up to eight sixteen. See, yeah, it looks like my low is like four, four. Yeah, basically four million. What do we peak just over five? Hey, I'll take it. Not bad for it, the fuse modular frames are making up like half, more than half of all of my points right now. Not too bad. And so you know, there's the the nitrogen. No, not yeah, nitrogen train. Cool. So I'll probably either stream tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll get we'll get working on this electromagnetic control rod factory and actually build some more machines besides just truck stations and miners. Um, but pretty much all of the groundwork that's all there. So now it's build the pieces and then plug it in so did a lot of the tedious stuff the rest of it should be much smoother building all the machines and um yeah i think be able to bang this at the factory out pretty quickly i don't think it should take too long it just depends on how convoluted my belting goes since i decided not to do much of a logistics floor on this one just to see how it goes but anyways, thank you all um, for coming, watching, chatting, lurking. I appreciate it all greatly. So I hope everyone has a terrific rest of their Tuesday. And I should make sure I save this. Yep. All right, good. Saving. Uh, yep. Thank you, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you all. 